So hello guys, we're recording um, a demo for Stealth Watch and uh, Duo integration using SecureX. Uh, we're gonna start the demo from actually looking at a notification in my own environment to monitor a specific uh, Stealth Watch and demo system. And this notification we've received uh, that there is an automated Stealth Watch incident it's called data hoarding. There is an IP uh, involved in that. There is destination IP involved in that, and the user is TME. So this is um, one way of notifying a user there is something wrong and we need to fix it using WebEx team. It could be also creating a casebook inside SecureX or actually creating a ServiceNow ticket. So what's happened in that specific event? Uh, I'm gonna go and, and, and see, look at StealthWatch. So basically uh, in StealthWatch, you see all the events in here. Uh, some of the incidents are being shared back into SecureX using the response manager. So this is the, the event we're looking at. The observables are 10.182.1.116, same as we had in the WebEx teams and the same destination. Um, and this will explain the timeline of this event, uh, when it actually happened, the sightings, uh, from which destination to which source and what actually came from. Um, we're gonna look into that specific event, clicking into uh, the selector, we're gonna focus on that specific one. Uh, we click on, the, on that specific alarm to see the, all the uh, actual occurrence of this alarm, and then we're gonna go directly to the flow, uh, just to show exactly what, what we did with that specific workflow. So this will show us the communication, the source IP, destination IP, and the context behind it. So what we know about this, this is the source IP, this is the URL, that's the exact username that was used, this is the host name plus the username. So this is why you've seen inside WebEx Teams the TME username, uh, this is the process, which is in this case, Chrome is being used, and uh, we're using um, an actual HTTP communication to uh, a specific bad destination known to be a data hoarding. This is, remember, this is a demo and an example uh, that we uh, know that this specific host is being used to actually expedite data to that destination. We can base the alarm either based on the destination or based on the unusual amount of traffic being sent uh, to outside. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the actual workflow, how it actually worked and correlated all the info. So I'm gonna run it now uh, again. Uh, so it's looking at specific time when this workflow uh, did run. So we're gonna we can automate this based on a scheduler instead of actually hitting the run button. It could run by itself and go through the event, see if there is a new event, um, which is a specified event. In this case, it's it's looking at a specific event, which is the bad destination host list. This is the one. Uh, and it's looking at specific IPs because it found it that this event is there. We started all the info about that event, what's the source, what's the destination, and then it's it, when it's find it, it actually uh, go into uh, using uh, the do to do a response. Or if it doesn't find anything, the condition will go into, okay, uh, this time we didn't find anything, on the next schedule we'll run and maybe find something. So when you see, when you heard now, my phone actually got a notification on it, uh, it's actually the Dio uh, mobile authentication. We're gonna go look at that and then see what that alarm. So that alarm is saying that the Cisco security alert, we need please approve or decline. And the username is TME uh, and the timing when this actually occurred, uh, I'm gonna actually click deny. Uh, it's, it shows me a prompt saying, why are you denying this request? I'm gonna say it seems to be fraudulent. And then since it's actually fraudulent, uh, I'm gonna actually deny it, and then by this case, the user have actually denied this, uh, th that specific uh, situation uh, of that specific traffic because he doesn't know what it is. Uh, and then we know, and we get a notification inside WebEx Teams about that specifically. So again, now we have another notification about this and uh, how it occurred uh, and when. So that's it. That's the idea of the demo. We've got a bad activity that the user did not know about. Uh, we used SecureX to automatically pick up that bad activity, notify him through Dio, and we use Dio to allow or deny and specify why we deny it. And that's a, a good use case to actually give control uh, for the user and uh, also for the our security team notify them about what's actually happening. One other thing could be maybe creating a ServiceNow ticket for somebody to investigate or create a casebook. Uh, it doesn't have to be always isolating your host or stopping the traffic. That's the whole idea. Thanks, and uh, hopefully this is useful.